All right, so how y'all doing boys? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be trying yet another team with the new Excalibur Arthur. I mean, I do have two other teams that I do have in mind, but I'm going to try this one out first. Um, as you can tell, you know, Roxy and Escanor are only both level 80 and Goddess Liz as well is only level 80 and, you know, and missing the Super Awakening 5 on Roxy. So we are losing quite a bit of CC here. Still punching 270, which is all right, but I mean, hoping, I mean, I'm this isn't going to go as well as the last team, but let's see how it goes. Here we go. Let's see who we have for our first opponent. And none other than, you know, typical Goddess Liz Eskinor team. I mean, we do have, once again, quite a bit of trouble facing off against Goddess Liz with this team. But, I mean, this uh, AoE Roxy card. If you haven't seen, you know, Roxy do her thing before. I mean, if you get, like, two of these first turn, like, just look at the amount of damage you can do sometimes. Like, and then add Death Pierce in the back as well. She is crazy, crazy good. I mean, we've already got the crit there as well. Uh, Elizabeth would have died. But I mean, once again, just like the last uh, Arthur team, is pretty hard to get bad card draw. I mean, unless you're pulling just like a bunch of these and these. I mean, even these cards, like the Chain Smash, are pretty good when it comes to damage, especially the two star gets up. You know, quite a bit of damage compared to the one star. But yeah, the main problem we are going to be having is the shields in this one. Um, Honestly, though. Hmm. I can we just go like this for the moment. I imagine, you know, both of those alpha cards will break the shield, and then, yeah, hopefully we can proc the revival on Elizabeth. I mean, if he doesn't have, you know, another shield next turn, we should be alright to go for the kill, but we'll just have to wait and see. But, you know, I have actually tried this team a bit off camera, so it's not first impressions, but yeah. Some matchups you can really, really struggle, and that's probably just due to, you know, the lack of investment I have in Roxy and Escanor. You know, unfortunately, oh gosh, that's, that's a yikes, um, you know, like I was saying, unfortunately, you know, don't have just infinite essay coins at my disposal, so, there is that, and gosh, we can't even really kill Elizabeth, hmm, I mean, yeah, gonna rush Eskinor ult here is like, you know, kind of just like, anything else we had have done, you know, wouldn't have worked, and this at least has a slight chance of working, especially if this crits and kills, but I doubt it will. Yeah, okay, that's alright. <clears throat> okay, see, I mean, our daddy's Eskinor can completely, you know, chip mine down, but there is definitely a possibility, especially with that gold card in his hand. Let's see, I mean, I really didn't want Arthur dying as well, you know, that early, but, you know, what can you do about it? Pumpkin bombs going off, and what else does he do? Stunning Roxy? Trying to stun Eskinor, um... Okay, that's alright, um... <laughs> we will go for the Eskinor here, Pumpkin Bomb, and... I think we'll throw out this one as well, I mean... I imagine that will kill, uh, the, you know, Pumpkin Bomb will kill Gotha, and... Please? Yeah, okay, sweet, so... Hopefully we can kill Liz as well, and that'll be the end of this match, but... Yeah, okay, that's alright. I mean, we're basically done here. But yeah, no, like I said in the last match, you know, with the, the whole not infinite SSR pendants, um, the SSR pendants have been a real big struggle for me at the moment. I mean, you know, with the implementation of the new uh, guild boss and, you know, just other stuff, I mean, having to, you know, level 90 these characters for the showcase now and just, you know, just leveling up characters in general, I mean, I feel like I've really been lacking on those pendants, and I really should have gone for a double Roxy card. That's alright. <clears throat> I mean, definitely would have helped us a bunch, but I mean, I didn't think would actually do that much damage to a level 90 Eskimo. Let's see, I'd imagine, yeah. Oh, well, he puts up the taunt. Not an awful lot we can do about that. Hmm, put the dissolve on us as well. Oh! No taunt. Okay, um. I mean, in saying that, we'll just. What a strange play. I mean,. I'll just throw these out, and I mean, I guess we'll get on to the next match. Um, guessing that one was a bot, I mean, unless he was just hoping to survive another turn or something? I don't know. Let's get on to the next one. And I mean, hopefully we don't just end up facing a- oh, there we go. Um, a bunch of Eskinor teams, but that's nice. Um, we barely ever see anyone use 11, which is sweet. Um, however, you know, do I still wanna- hmm. I think I'm still gonna go for the full send on Sariel, just cause- Sariel can be a real threat sometimes, and if I can... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna kill, honestly. If, you know, either of them were level 90, it would've, but yeah. Oh, actually, if Roxy even crit, we would've killed, but... That's alright. Got plenty of Arthur Stance cards as well, so... 
just have to see what he does here, but no. You see, I really wish people used more teams like this with, you know, 11 and stuff, and... I've said this, be I've said this before, but I mean, not everyone, you know, has the materials to build plenty of units, but... I understand, I mean, what can you do? Um, putting up the Arthur stance and hoping, you know, he doesn't have too, more AO too many more AoE cards. I mean, I know he definitely has the 11 one still in hand, but... I mean, yeah, you saw how much damage Sariel did to Roxy. Sariel is a real threat. So unfortunate as well that I only have him like one or two, six. Wish I could use him as an association, but what can you do? Yeah, look, he's going to be killing Roxy this turn as well, which, you know, usually it's a bummer because, I mean, you know, with Roxy, you do have to like, you know, everyone in the field has to be human, but with her dying first, obviously, you can get Goddess Liz instead, so it's not as big a deal as if you say you have Arthur or Eskinal die, but, um, what do we want to do here? I think once again, I mean, we just go for the full send on Sari. I really just don't want to have to deal with him at all. And probably could have done the single target into 11 as well, but that's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And yeah, um, I'm actually surprised, you know, I thought the Arthur AoE card would be just a complete waste of a card, but it actually isn't, like, completely terrible. Like, it does more damage than you'd expect, so. It does have Lost Vein in the back, though, which can be a problem, I mean. I mean, we are going to, like, have to go for the kill and go for this next turn, and depending on if he kills, you know, Roxy or someone, that could be a bit of trouble. You know, the second Roxy dies, we do lose a bit of DPS on Eskimo and Arthur, but... Mm. I mean, with Arthur dying as well, I believe we also lose a bit of DPS, and um, that's both of them as well, yeah. He's like, you can still use teams that aren't, you know, your typical glue eater and still win matches, but... I don't know. Whatever you like to do, um... Go for the kill on 11 here. I mean, I don't think I'll have to use both of strong, like the flood cards, but with that done, I mean, we can uh, ult, uh, ult into a lost vein, get the crit kill, and then, you know, Gotha can't really kill the two of us, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not just gonna wait for this to play out. Let's just get on to the next one. And I mean, with this week coming to an end, you know, the big talk of the moment, I mean, Purgatory Bomb will be coming out in just a couple of days, so I mean, Hoping you guys have, you know, more gems than I do. I'd not be disappointed. I'd feel sorry if you had as many gems as I do. I'm sitting on like 50 or something, which is not the best, you know, you're going to have to wail out a little bit in order to actually, you know, do the rotation or two that I want. But I mean, you know, with the whole implementation of like the, what is it? The, you can almost get like extra, like the extra benefits from doing summons, you know, you can get like free multis and stuff on this like side banner they give, which is really cool concept, but Unfortunately, I do think I'll only be able to do the two rotations on the Barn banner, but I mean, if we get, you know, if we get as lucky as we do, uh, did on the Zeldris banner, that'll be no worries. I mean, the goal is obviously 6-6, six, six, but whatever happens is alright. And I mean, we do already have a 6-6 uh, six, six Lost Vein, and I believe the other, own, like, the only other festival unit in the banner is Escanor, so um, my Escanor is only 3-6, I believe, so... Can always use more dupes than him, that'd be nice. Get his CC up a little bit more. I'd like to be able to use him as an association, considering, you know, all of his costumes are maxed out and he has 15% rolls. Make my life a whole lot easier. We do proc the revive, though, which is nice, and I mean... Mm, not the best card draw. I mean, I would have liked another one of these, but... Mm, yeah, because he's putting up the shield. And pump Gamon, yeah, which stops us from, you know... Potentially alt rushing with Arthur this turn as like a counter player. Hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like there's an awful lot we can do here for the moment, so. Um. Yeah, gosh, what do I want to do? Um. There's no point really attacking at all. I mean, it's only a one star shield, so it will only last the one turn, so. I'm guessing we just go with this. I mean, try and get our cards as strong as possible for the next one. It is scary as well that that Eskinal, you know, if we don't kill him, he is going to get that ult off. And depending on his ult level, we can just wipe two of us instantly. Which at that point is game. Please don't have... Uh, did have another shield, god. Hmm. And killed Arthur as well. I mean, yeah, this one's not looking the greatest for us. But, um, yeah, he's Eskinal's full health. I mean, yeah. Oh well. There we go, and with Purgatory Barn coming out as well, ooh, 
nice little commandment team. Um, you know, I am also working on the box showcase. I mean, I've been super slacking on it, but we'll be here eventually. I mean, with, you know, how the way things are looking, um, it will get up, you know, by the time, um, Bun actually comes out. And I'm mainly just wanting it to do it after the summons, that way I can, like, have him in the showcase as well. Hopefully we can, yeah, once again, get a couple of dupes, but... Mmm, yeah, this could be a bit of a problem, this AM melee, I mean... And we're just pulling so many AoE cards as well. I mean, it's inevitable that he puts up the heavy metal here, so we're just going to kind of have to stall and see what we can do. I mean, the fact that he doesn't have, you know, like a unit that can ult removal is very nice, but yeah, gosh, look at that. I mean, there's no point in us, like, attacking at all this turn. Um, hmm. Gosh, if only I could rush, like, an Escanor ult or something. Um... Yeah, I think I might just rush uh, Roxy ult. I mean, better than anything else we can do. I don't really feel like we need the Arthur Taunt too badly at this point. I mean, don't have too many debuffs on us. There we go. What's he going for here? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of damage. I knew that it hit hard. And the Frogen still has the Taunt, which is so, so annoying. That's Roxy gone as well. I mean, oh, that's his AM Mally back to full health. Gosh. I mean, yeah, some teams like this, you just get absolutely stomped in, so... Um... Yeah, look, this is guaranteed a loss. I, even if we got triple crit on the Escanor, then... And, you know, crit with the Arthur attack. I don't think we we're killing. I mean, that's just an unlucky match. Here we go, and final match. Let's see if we can get another victory. And, I mean, Lost Vein in the front. It's not every day you see this, so... Could be interesting. Um... I mean, with, uh, yeah, I see. I almost can, like, guarantee we can kill Liz this first time, but he's going to put up the shield, and, I mean, we're going to, you know, rank up Lost Fan's cards. As... Oh, actually, never mind. We got lucky and didn't crit Lost Fan. There we go. Please kill. Sweet. There we go. Um, I mean, despite the fact this is the same team, you know, just with Lost Vein instead of Escanor, it's just so, so squishy compared to, like, I know Escanor isn't, like, the most tanky unit either, but, you know... The one versus Lost Vein is just, there's no way he's ever going to, like, tank two, more than two hits. Like, most of the time you can even one-tap him, so. Um, there we go. I mean, if we just spam Arthur cards here, I'm hoping we can kill Elizabeth. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur, please. Oh, actually, no, we are not doing anywhere near enough damage. God damn, please don't crit Lost Vein again. Okay, sweet. That's all good. Um, hmm. Hoping as well, unlike the last video, I'm hoping we can actually finish this one off either with an Arthur victory screen or with the ultimate, um, Russian Gothra ult, okay. Hmm, and another shield, hmm. Not a fan, but I mean, personally, we can just take out the Goth here. I mean, he's on such low health that we can get rid of him easy peasy, and... Did we already proc revive? I'm actually not... Yeah, we did proc revive, okay, so... And... and was kind of a waste of the Escanor card, but that's whatever. I wasn't really paying too much attention. Um, ooh, the one in the back. Okay. Um, so the match is definitely isn't over yet. Um, let's see what he's going to do, though. Yeah, rushing that uh, Lost Vein can be super, super scary. I mean, anything above 3-6 is, like, almost a guaranteed win of PvP. And with us losing Roxy... Or you're in an even worse spot. And is he stunning Arthur? Gosh. Please give me another Escanor card. Please. <laughs> okay. Putting a lot of faith in Escanor here. But I mean. He should get a triple crit. And we should just kill the Lost Fan. So yeah. It shouldn't be too much of a worry. Okay. Yeah. Even without the crit. We're still fine. Okay. Sweet. Um, do have the Arthur ult here. So. Looks like we are going to be finishing this off with the Arthur Ultimate, which is nice. Don't stun Arthur. Oh, come on, man. Really? You're really going to do me like this? Okay, I mean... I really want to finish it with, you know, the Arthur Ultimate, but... I'm just hoping this doesn't do too much damage on Escanor. Please? He's only 3-6. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, sweet. No, that's perfectly fine, sweet. Um, 
Actually, will Arthur's ult even... Oh, yeah, no. Especially with how he's Eskimo's face. I mean, the whole detonate, like, card effect is really... Oh, gosh, we just got one tapped. Is really, really good. Um, and I'm just surprised we don't see it on more units. Like, it is super good effect, though. Here we go. Get him nice and low here for the Arthur ult, and we will finish it off. So, I mean, honestly, the matches didn't go too bad. I mean, definitely not as good as the Kira team, but we did all right. We held our own. Such a cool animation as well, and it does some pretty good damage. And that just about does it for today's showcase. I mean, not the craziest teams, not the craziest matches, but I mean, all these videos with Excalibur Arthur are really just leading up to the hype of when Purgatory Barn comes out. So, I mean, hoping you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe. It really means the world to me. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.